Stopping us, fly without boarding pass. Couldn't catch me, I'd be moving fast. Call me a shooting star. Let them know who you are. Flying up and above. Wish on a star. Time to show them who's in charge. Call me a shooting star. I 
you beautiful people and welcome back to the NECC. I am your host, Jaron Bell. We are here for another night of Valorant action. And I don't know if you guys, I'm excited tonight and I hope that you can feel the buzz in the air like I'm feeling it because my main man, Voltage Plays, is in the building, in the screen right below me. What is up, my man? What's going on, Jaron? I am so excited to get back into Valorant here. It's been uh, we, we missed last week, unfortunately, but I'm ready to go. Absolutely. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a fantastic matchup for you tonight. Tiffin University comes in to face Hood College, uh, a battle of underdogs for sorts for Tiffin. They come in here this year, uh, one in three in the NECC so far in Hood College at the top of the playoff race at three and O. Oh. I mean, it's impressive. What are you looking to see? I mean, this should be a pretty good match. And, and, Tiffin going to have to play a really good match to beat this undefeated Hood team. Absolutely. With Bind, I think I've said this a couple of weeks ago, we're starting on Bind here, and this is a site with no real middle. So you're going to want to be able to take a site decisively and quickly so you can get the bomb planted before the rotate comes in. So that's what we're really going to be looking for here today. Absolutely. And ladies and gentlemen, we want to say thank you to our partners. Thank you to our friends at Helix Esports for all the things that they do for us behind the scenes, allowing us to do what we do. And of course, our linear TV partner. You might be watching Valor in Action right now live on ESTV, now available on Samsung TV Plus the Roku channel, Vizio, and plenty of other platform options, and they bring you eSports action from around the globe on their platform. And, of course, last but not least, I know I've got mine on right now. We'll have some new ones coming, but big shout-out to HyperX. Some of the best gear in gaming now comes to the NECC. It is going to be a fantastic matchup tonight. For those people that might be kind of uh, – haven't seen much Valorant esports before and, and maybe they've seen other titles or maybe they're just here to support one of these universities. What kind of game are they going to see? What, what is Valorant to some of these people right. that might be new to esports? Yeah. So Valorant is a two sided match of five players per side. And there's going to be several rounds that you see. We generally start off with a pistol round here. And what you're going to see is as the players in each round, they are going to only have one life that round. So it's, they have to make a big impact on the game. Um, and so as you get kills, as you stay alive, as you plant the spike, you're going to get money for those rounds. Uh, and then you're going to be able to build up by weapons for the upcoming rounds. It's going to be first to 13 at the 12 round middle. So Maybe it's six to six on each side. That's going to be a halftime. And they're going to switch from attacking side to defense and back and forth. So it's a um, very strategic at times and very fast paced at times all in the same game. 
Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to see a lot of high paced action, but voltage plays will be here with me to guide you through that. Um, he, he might lie to you and say that he's not a great Valorant player, but he's basically the best player in the world. Isn't that right? Voltage. Uh, I don't know. about that. <laughs> just by the sure. way, just by the way you answered, uh, tells us everything ladies and gentlemen we're going to get into it voltage is going to refresh his stream now it popped up for me uh and there we're going to we get ready uh what are you seeing from these team comps as you look at it right now it looks like me ladies and gentlemen on the blue side of things for now on the blue team will be tiffin university the red side will be hood college and what are you looking from this composition so far so right now I see both teams have arena and both teams have a raise and that's going to be what the game calls duelist. Those are going to be the, 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 the top fraggers that you're looking towards. They have the utility to get kills. I also see both teams have omens and that's a controller. And I believe Sova is also a controller as we are getting on to this first round. They are looking an initiator. I do apologize. So we are looking like an A push here. I'm also seeing um, a another from Tiffin on on the side of Tiffin University, a uh, Cipher. He's going to be a controller as well. And then uh, on the other side of things, Killjoy for Hood is going to be a uh, a Sentinel, a defender. So both teams have two players left. It's going to be a Sova and an omen that happened very quickly as we are on with effects and mystic shadows here from tiffin Uni or sorry hood college as they rotate currently effects has all the kills on the side of hood college as they move up towards the hookah side of the map and this is going to be the b side this is going to be one of the one of the two main entry points and right now they are trying to get information as both of the Tiffin University side of things left. have rotated as well. Bomb is going down. Effects gets one ready. kill. That's four for him. And it's just up to blue light to pick up the last one. And he does. So that's going to be one in favor of uh, Tiffin University. Absolutely, and a fantastic, fantastic matchup. While we're look, let's pull up that. Let's pull up the menu and show people uh, on the right side of your screen, ladies and gentlemen. You will see creds. Both explain to them how crucial creds are and, and what that means here in this game. So credits are very, very crucial. As you saw, Tiffin took the first round, and they are able to buy a little bit more. They have some of them have full armor, some of them have half, but I'm sure they've got the uh, the equipment, their utility to back that up. So they're gonna have more to go into this round to hopefully win it. So right now, creds are very important, especially early game. So they're going to be looking to use this advantage as much as they can. As an attack comes in from A short, we got two players down. Cracked picking up a third by himself One, with a, a classic and a specter in his hands. Picking up the fourth one, looking for the omen. Gets the ace. What wow. a play there. Man, and how about getting getting the game started? Your team has a 1-0 advantage. How about coming out and pulling the massive ace in that second round? What a play by them. Definitely puts the advantage and momentum uh, on that tip inside. Absolutely. So Crack knows he can hold down this angle, uh, but he can't do it for too long because they are going to expect him to be there once again. So I wonder if he's going to switch it up but it looks like Hood College is going to switch it up as they look more towards a B push. I've got two going towards Hookah here. That's going to be Bubbles and Little Smudge peeking it. They do see one, but that finish. player backs up. A nade through the teleporter takes out Little Smudge and e Epic Evan. That was a great throw by him. Absolutely. Mystic Shadow supporting Bubbles here in have, or in hookah, excuse me. They throw an aid and back up. They're not committing too hard right now. It is looking like they may be rotating as three people from Tiffin are stacked over here, ready to defend the site, but they are thinking about the rotate coming in and cracked moving back over to the A site where he defended it so well last round. They're gonna see that bot, so they're gonna know the rotate is on, but they're gonna try to get the bomb down as 
Soba puts the bomb down. Spike Mystic planted. Shadow puts a spike down. Excuse me. And they're trying to keep control of this site and make sure that spike explodes or they eliminate all of Hood. Ouch. Epic Evan and Crack taking out one oh, each and it's remaining. just left up to effects. Pushing through the CT side. Picks up two and it's going to be a 1v1 raise with low health. Yeah, Epic like Evan having to save this play here. They know they're close. As he comes around spraying across and not able to pick up that pre-fire as a phantom just out frags an epic Evan with the aim there, cleaning it up, making it 3-0 in favor of Tiffin. And I tell you what, massive, massive 1v1 situation win. And able just saved by the bell to, to, to disarm there, excuse me. And how about uh, Voltage? One of the things that I think we should look into right now, we talked about at this beginning of the match, Hood College comes in here 3-0 today. As we're 10 seconds away from the fourth round here, Tiffin University, you know, 1-3 in three on the season, the underdog in this match has a 3-0 advantage. It's an impressive start for this Tiffin team. Right, so they are starting on the defending side. That is generally considered the easier side. You get to set up your sites how you want them to, especially if you are, uh, you know, Killjoy in this situation, which they don't have, but they do have uh, Cracked, who is playing as Cypher. So he gets to put up cameras and set up his site how he wants to defend it. And that's a big advantage there. So as we see... Hood College having to step into somebody else's, you know, home field advantage, if you would, in, in the sports side of things, to go down for Tiffin as Hood is looking to rotate once again. This would be the fourth round in a row after the first couple of frags, the, they rotate. So I'm on right now with Bubbles, who is behind. I'm going to move up to Effects begins. and Mystic Shadows here. Moving up, Reyna popped her ultimate, so she's going to, uh, her rate of fire is going to increase. Her enemies are going to highlight red, like bright red, so it's going to be easier for them to see. Spike, spike planted. Mystic Shadows helping as they move up, and it's up to two Tiffin players to try to get that remaining. fourth round in a row here, but it's just exactly. all up to crack. He does have an ace earlier in the game. And he's got the information. Let's see if he can put those things together right now to get this win. He's moving up. He knows there's somebody on site. That Killjoy bot is going to notice him. But they're staying very defensive here. He's going to pick up one. He's got to get onto the spike here shortly. He's got a little bit of time. Let's see if he gets halfway and pops off. He's looking around for the last player. Now, he does not have time to get that. But Cracked is... 14 and, and 2 so far in the game. And in four rounds, most people would say Cracked is pretty cracked at this point. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. You, first of all, you're the one that sounds pretty punny tonight, and that's the one I'm talking about, man. And as you look the at the leader <laughs> the first time, right? As you look at the leaderboard, what are you seeing right now uh, on this menu screen? I mean, really, Effects and Cracked are trying to carry their team as much as they can. Cracked, like I said, 14 and 2. A, uh, a 7 KD if you're looking at that, and effects with 8 and 4, 2 KD if you're looking at that. But they are really the leaders on their team. Everybody else is just kind of not as much of a role player. So we're really going to be looking at those players. They do have information that people are bathroom over here. Bubbles looking through the short side of things. On A, going to be the only one there. Crack takes out Little Smudge, making it him with a 15th kill in the fifth round. That is ridiculous in my mind. Okay, that looks like another rotate is coming out, which is very interesting to me, is almost like they should expect after they get the first yeah. one or two kills to rotate. Cracked takes out Mystic Shadows after Mystic Shadows took out Epic Evans Keeps here. So it's going to be a 3v4 in favor of Tiffin University, the defenders. Two players on each site. Hood University spread out very thin here, so they're not going to be able to trade. They're going to have to outfrag. Ben Lee up in heaven, or Hookah, excuse me, picks up a kill on Mr. Reliable. Effects watching the bathroom side of things. 
and Bubba is watching left. for A. So, oh, and Ben Lee has done what he needed to do and pulled everybody away from that A site. But Cracked had his cameras still set up and he knows they're, they're planting the bomb over there. They're planting the spike, planted. excuse me. Cracked moving up towards heaven, his two players, blue light and arrow following him as they move slowly onto site. Oh, they are just waiting for this moment to engage. Effect picks up Cracked, arrow picks up Effect right back at him and that's a fantastic trade and it's all up to Bubbles who puts this one grenade right, down and it's a 1v1 and make that a 1v none as Bubbles picks up the round. First of all, how about Bubbles right there mapping the massive clutch? Your team looks, it looks like Tiffin has the advantage. They're going to swing the momentum back their way and take off. And Hood showing why they're 3-0. and Massive, massive clutch play uh, by Bubbles. And it looks like Effex is going to have the is going to be able to plant the bomb on this side. Yeah, so at this point, uh, what you really notice there is once the money is on both sides of the thing, it's going to be a lot more even match when Hood is on the attacking side of things. It may totally switch up, but we're expecting now when both teams have full economy to be a pretty even battle at least this first half. Bubbles moving up with Ben on to the garden from long B and it looks like it's going to be a B attack and I feel like they've they're much more um, invested into this B attack they can't rotate as easily it's going to be a 3v3 bubbles putting down the alt over at short A that's going to make everybody move or they get frozen uh, if they're inside the circle uh, within 10 seconds of putting the ultimate down so it makes them move out of that area. One so they know landing. one person oh. stuck in there, and that's going to be Cracked. Cracked is just trying to hide as long as he can, and he was able to do so. It's going to be a 1v2, but the ball or the spike is not planted. Putting his camera out there, trying to see what he can see. 30 seconds 30 is left seconds on the left. clock, which is plenty of time. I mean, they've got all the time in the world. So he is at Here. 63 HP, but the spike planner is at 30 himself. 40, excuse me. So spike is planted on this site, so he does know that a, he has to get onto this site and he has to frag out. And they've got a beautiful crossfire here. It took a second for Mystic Shadows to pick him up, but in the end he did, making it a 3-3 game, tied up and going into set. And what, what fantastic communication I would assume that was. The fact that they knew it was a 1v2 situation. They separated, were able to cover that corners. They saw, saw the shots come in, knew that he was there. Man, what a play by Hood College to tie this game up. 3-3 three, three, as we go into the seventh round. Absolutely. At this point, three Cut rounds went in favor of Tiffin University. Now Hood College pulling back three of their own. Both sides have full economy. They're able to buy exactly what they want, except for maybe an op or two. But at this point, they should be playing with everything that they can. It should be a very well-fought match here as Hood College isn't looking to overcommit at anything. Epic Evan throwing his uh, paint blast, I believe it's called. It's the grenade that they get every round. Bubbles going up with Mystic, looking to uh, peek into Hookah. That missed arrow there from Mystic is uh, is going to be telling of where they are. It's going to go throw a shock dart to He's see if anybody's dead. in that back corner. And one from the other side of things is going to be thrown back. They are slowly playing towards this B site, allowing a lot of players there to rotate. And it's going to be a, a 3v5 here as they He's push onto the site. Oh, and the ultimate coming out from blue light, picking up bubbles, and now Mystic Shadows. That's two down, make that three. It's Crack picked up a third. 2v3 situation, and based on how they left. were playing, it's probably going to be a rotate, but they don't have time. It's just up to Ben, and he does not have the spike. 
at this point. I don't think that he will save. I think that they'll have plenty of money going to the next round, but it is looking like it's going to be a 4-3 in favor of Tiffin here as they get a flawless round. Well, and what a play. Ladies and gentlemen, we do want to remind you to follow us on social media at NECC Games. That's NECC Games on Twitter and Instagram. You can find live updates, oh, giveaway nice contests, and all kinds of information on those social platforms to be able to watch us yes. five days a week, live collegiate esports action right here at the NECC. Voltage, take it away. That goes dead. And we, like I said, we're heading into the eighth round here. It is looking like an A play, but let's expect that rotate as three players are moving up towards bathrooms and Crack knows that at least two of them are here as he picks up Little Smudge. And it's already going to be a 4-3. Oh, I see Arrow and Blue Light slowly rotating through the back. That's going to be a defensive rotation where they can catch them off on the flank. Already a 3v4 in favor of Tiff and make that a 2v4 or 5. One five. Standing. As Cracked and Blue Light each pick up one and it's just up to Mystic Shadows. He was able to pick up two, but Epic Evan comes around the corner and picks it uh, up Mystic on his own there. Everything's happening so fast in this game. Cracked 23 and 4. Unbelievable. He's playing out of his mind. They just, on both sides of things, I uh, want to see a little bit more from the team coming out to play together. It's not a one-person game. And one of the things that I'm curious to know, Vol, is what this you're seeing. Here. What is this Tiffin team doing oh, to come in here as the underdog there. today and really, really taking advantage of some situations? Uh, it, I think that they're, they're playing aggressive at the right times. That's really what I've noticed so far. Uh, they've been able to move up, attack when they're on the defensive side of things, and that's gotten them a couple rounds so far. They are looking right now to go towards B, but Effex is still over at A, trying to keep a couple people honest, but nobody's going to be there. Spike is down. It's up to Little Smudge, Mystic, and Effex. They're able to pick up Spike and go through the teleporter. Effects trying to get behind, but Crack takes him out. And it's going to be a 2v3, which is definitely winnable here. I want to see what Mystic and Little Smudge do. Cage trigger. As the camera picks up Little Smudge, who went through the teleporter there. Mystic's going to be the one that meets them at short A. And it might be a double rotate. There's still 42 seconds. There's so much time. So all players there from Tiffin have rotated. 30 it seconds looks left. looks like Hood College is going to be rotating back and trying to catch them off guard. And I wonder if they're going to notice that. They're all stacked up towards short. If they were in bathrooms, they might be able to take them by surprise. But they were ready for it. Ult comes out from Reyna, who is Little Smudge. 10 seconds left. Currently 3 and 8. Mystic putting an arrow down as the teleporter play comes in. Crack picks up Mystic Shadow and Blue. Little Smudge picks up Reliable and Blue trades him back out. Wow, and what a what a play to be in that top line. I mean, you this have to over. think that the communication, I mean, look, we, we say communication enough, but with Valorant, you know, you only get one life per round. You think that communication has to be a major key for these teams here, Bolt. Oh, absolutely. How quickly they went through that teleporter when they heard that the bomb was going down or went down. I did not look at the timing of that. Uh, it was it was all at the same time, all instantaneous, and they all quickly got into Hookah, which they were able to take control of, have the high ground, and really just control the movement on the site. If if one of the, uh, the Hood players were on the site, then they had to stay where they were, or they were going to get picked off with three... Uh, not really snipers, but really they were acting in the position of snipers, just ready to look for any movement and take them out. Cage triggered. Blue light getting information up a long, knowing nobody's there. A quick rotate coming in. Epic Evan goes down, but Mystic Shadow also goes down. So 4v4 as Effects picks up two of its own. 
Mr. Reliable able to pick up effects there, making it a 2v3 in favor of Hood. Hood really needs to get this going to get that momentum back. This is the first round that they've had a, uh, a full buy, I believe, in the last two rounds. So they are a little short on money. They need to win this, or they're going to have to do an eco buy or a save buy here. Little Smudge looking through the bathrooms, trying to find Not them, and they're right around the corner. Little Smudge takes out Reliable, but Arrow picks up Little Smudge. It's going to be a 2v1, and I'm on with Arrow right here. As he knows Spike that that ult ultimate has come out from Raze, and they know that they're there. At some point, they have to uh, take that shot, and they do. Ben Lee picking up Arrow, and that's going to be a big win here in favor of Hood College. And I know, if anything, from the conversations you and I've had, you love to see that Raze ultimate, that colorful rainbow bazooka, man. That is a fantastic ultimate, and what a character. I know that's got to be your favorite. It's it's somewhat my favorite. Raze is my main, but at the same time, the biggest issue with her is when to use your ultimate, because mm. it takes away a gun that fires very quickly. It also goes away. There's a little timer that it'll go away if you don't use it quickly enough. Um, both players, I believe, let me jump on here with Epic. Uh, Epic Evan does have his ultimate. But they are very spread outside, uh, uh, spread out here on the side of Hood University. Spike out right out there at A Link, or really just Link, but it's the A side of uh, of the Link, as they are uh, what is called playing for picks, I believe. Mr. Reliable picks up Little Smudge and Blue Light, picks up effects. And those are going to be uh, very important kills there on the uh, B side and A side. So they don't know really where to play here, but they are moving over to the B side. Mr. Reliable putting a smoke up in Hookah, it looks like. Bubbles watching that long. Ben Lee with the bomb. And they are inside that circle. So they've got to get on site and pick up or, or shut down that Killjoy ultimate or they're going to be frozen. Uh, luckily enough, enemy. they weren't in there. I'm left. surprised. Maybe I was looking at it wrong, enemy. but it's all up to Killjoy and Cracked. And that's going to be a hard battle for Bubbles to win here. As they're giving information away, and Cracked just slowly peeks that corner and picks up Bubbles there for his 29th kill last of the game, the 11 rounds in. And as we go to the last round before the swap, as you look at the leaderboard, what is the KD telling you? And these teams, I mean, obviously, if you look at Cracked and Blue Light having massive yeah. matches so far, and effects seeming to be to be taking the lead for that Hood team, I mean, what are you seeing as you look at the leaderboard? Uh, I'm seeing that... I don't want to say utility isn't being used right, but uh, utility is playing less of a role than I thought it would have, because at this point, the players that are mostly defending a site are uh, are like, they're supposed to be more defenders, controllers is what they're called. Good trade there. Oh, the trade doesn't come out. She uses Devour. What a play. Wow. Arrow, sorry, Ben Lee. Moving up B as a kill did come out from the A side of the map. They get a rotate in, but Blue Light cleans up three of them. Let's see if he can pick up the last two for the A. He knows effects is over in Garden's elbow area. Ultimate comes out from Epic Evan. Fantastic time to use that because it is the last round. He's looking for effects, not able to pick it up, and it's up to effects and little smudge going up against epic evan and mr reliable epic Not evan using the ultimate Oof. but didn't pick up a kill but there he did on little smudge as it's where is 30 the seconds spike? Left. The spike is down outside of b and mr reliable he is well he's reliable on that b side as he cleans up the last player making it eight to Switching four as sides. we go into the second half and it, man voltage as we switch sides here, I don't think that anyone could say that this is how they thought we, this match was going to go. Uh, as we switch sides, I mean, this is this is an insane setup right here. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't like 
I don't know if you heard what I heard, but uh, the player cracked on the side of Tiffin is a uh, is Radiant, which I believe is the top. Uh, like it goes Immortal 1, 2, and 3, and then Radiant's the very top. So oh, wow. he's one of the best players that play this game right now in the... Uh, in the, oh, I don't want to say casual, but in the ranked game. So as we get into the second half, we are moving on to a uh, the switch size that we talked about at the very beginning. Cracked, and the rest of Tiffin are going to be on the attacking side of things. So blue team is attacking, and then red team is now Coming defending, and the red team is being played this time as hood college excuse me as i'm seeing them push on to site definitively here sorry the colors have changed excuse me that's what i was trying to say they're on they're on b site very quickly i was watching the players in garden long and they just got on there quickly mr reliable picking up two kills of his own and it's just up to little sludge here Picks up the Is last one. In a massive, massive game. I mean, nine, nine to four, they do pick that up. But for Hood, they need to do something to try to bounce back here as this is not going their way. Right. So Hood Hood College right now, they, uh, they are on the defending side of things. Yes, they are on the defending side of of the map here as i'm trying to get used to the switch still not used to that um yeah ladies and gentlemen that is the after they make that switch now tiffin with that nine to four lead is in the red hood in the blue as we get ready for this next round they're spread out they put that bomb down in link and that's a that's a play that we saw on the other side also Go. the hood pulled out this reliable picking up a kill in bathrooms here. They're not committing to a site because that bomb is still down. Or the spike, excuse me. I say that way too often. So that Sova arrow going onto the A site, getting information here, knowing nobody's watching right around this corner at least. Smoke's going down as they try to get clear onto the site. Ben Lee it gets Black picked up by Randy. Reliable. Epic Evan picks up Mystic Shadows, and it's all up to effects on the A site to defend. He's by himself. Players have been at both sites, so he doesn't know where to watch. Spike is easily going to get planted here by Crack. And he's got 45 seconds now to eliminate enough players or save this weapon. So he's got to be able to defuse that spike. And I say eliminate enough enough opponents because at some point you need to have time to defuse the spike. And right now it's a 3v2. He knows somebody's behind him. He gets blinded, not able to pick up the shot. Mr. Reliable picks him up for the last kill of the round, 10 to four in favor of yeah. Tiffin University as they're, they're yeah. kind of running away with it at this point. I know, and it, it's crazy. Like we said, how about Cracked being one of the top-ranked players? I don't know if Cracked played in the other games, being one in three with this team, but this looks like a brand new Tiffin team as they've come out with pure momentum, foot on the gas, pure aggression, and if I mean they have a 10-3 lead against or 10-4 lead, excuse me, against one of the top-ranked teams in the conference right now. It's impressive. Yeah, it's at. At this point, both sides have been very impressive at different moments. Just right now, Tiffin is more impressive can more consistently. As Cage triggered. As we see Mr. Reliable, Epic Evan, Blue Light all spread out around the map for Tiffin. And I like this playing for picks, not committing to a site. They're just like Let's get these kills, and if we need to go back and get Spike, we will. And I have, at this point, I don't know who to watch. It's blue Light and Arrow pick up two of their own, but then Little Smudge picks up Blue Light and gets them right Last back. Three v two situation up, here. Three v one. Excuse me. All up to Little Smudge, who they know he's in heaven over on the A site, so they're going to pick up Sp uh, Spike and go back to the B site and plan it once again as Cracked is planning. 
and that same Spike default planted. position that he liked or he planted last time. And I'm on here with Little Smudge, who's battling with Arrow, the other Reyna in the lobby over an elbow. Those cracked is watching from the site, and it's just, there's no getting away from it when you decide to go in there. The angles were shut down, and that was a, that was a very well-played defensive retake from the side of Tiffin there. You have to give a lot of respect to this Tiffin team. Again, they've had a season that has been close. Uh, our record might have been off here. We will double check our records from what we have. But, I mean, th this team, uh, we know that this Hood team has been undefeated coming into this. And right now, Tiffin is just running away with this match. It's, at this point, with the communication and the way their m movement is, I mean, Voltage, this isn't even close right now. No, it is, it is not close. We're two rounds away from Tiffin taking this, and they have taken the last five out of the 15 that we've played. They've taken a third of the rounds in a row on this map number one on, on Bind. Spike is moving over towards A, but that doesn't Cover mean anything as we saw earlier. A missed uh, recon bolt there from Sova over on A bathroom I side. know exactly but they're spread out once again, and I don't know where to watch. Currently on with Crash, who's watching the teleporter, picks up one, and it's all up to Bubbles. The defending player, who is supposed to defend, but has no utility to do so. She's got 40 seconds until her turret comes out, but Bomb is going down on that B side once again. Trying to protect where the Bomb would be planted, but Mr. Reliable, Reliable... Reliably just cleans up kills at the end of the rounds is what I'm noticing. Maybe Match that point. is me. If there's ever a username that might be right, talk about a gamer tag working because Mr. Reliable has been nothing but reliable in these end of game, end of round situations. Yeah, he's, he's I'm consistently saying his name at the end of the round. And at this point, it's, it's do or die. Everything that Hood College does right now has to be a win for the next eight rounds and then we'd go into overtime which i don't see happening but they are on the defending side of things they do have a mostly full buy so it may happen as a full push to a here from tiffin university in the last round of game number one of three games epic evan moving up putting the bot or the bomb bot down slowly moving up spike is in bathrooms as a killjoy nade Slows them down, but not by much. Peeking around corners and has control of this A site. As a rotate comes in from all sides here from Hood College. So I do like that they're attacking from several different angles here. Sova does pick up effects in the bathroom, but effects is able to take him down. And his last left up to Little Smudge on the site versus Arrow and effects. And Arrow isn't able to clean him up, but effects. Sorry. Yeah, Little Smudge picks up Arrow, not able to defend there. And, and that's do or going die. to be 5 yeah. yeah, and like I said, do or die, you're right. They they have to have it. They pick it up. Now, but Voltage, the problem is great ma great round win right there. But in reality, you got a long way to go because it's still match point 12 to 5 here. Yeah, but I mean, in the end... I don't know exactly how playoff seeding is going to go. If a, if it two, two teams if two teams are tied, right? If two teams are tied in record, then it, I, it's going to go down to round difference, map, map difference. All right, as we move on to this seventeenth round, once again spread out on the side of Tiffin. Epic Evan moving up with Arrow. Arrow getting taken out by Smudge. Epic Evan cleaning it back up. Blue Light picking up that turret over on the A site. And there's just so much action all around. Once again, another do or die round from Hood. But it's a 3v5 do or die round here. As FX is the only one watching the B site. Sees the smoke go down. Knows to look for players. Picks up Epic Evan. A crack is in. Puka effects picks up crack and that is a big pickup. It is going to be a 3v2. They turn it back around here. Mr. Reliable along with blue light have to take the site. 
So they don't have to take the site. They could rotate. But at this point, it's going to be a second do or die round in favor of Hood. And maybe Hood College is just the clutchest team in all of Valorant. And that's why their record is undefeated so far. <laughs> maybe they were just letting them get ahead because they needed a little extra practice. Now, again, I don't think that's true. I think me and you are full of you know what. But what I do know is that it's going to be interesting to see because right now, uh, 6 to 12, you got a long way to go. And, and for Tiffin, you know, 1 and 3 on the season, you, you've you got to find a way to win this match point. I mean, you can't give up another round. Right. I mean, at this point, you can give up as many rounds as you want. They were able to full buy this round. Um, but it's at some point before that 12th round comes out, as Crack picks up the first of the of the round, gets the first kill, Arrow picks up the second here. So it's, again, a two, 2v3 and for Hood. They've got to clean it up before that 12th round comes for Hood College. They could right now be like saying, you know what? Crack, step back. Let's get everybody else warmed up and make sure we're ready to go and to the second game. I don't know what their strategy is behind this, um, but they, they've got time. They've got plenty of time. They've built this leaf. They are double the score of Hood College. Cracked and the rest of Tiffin up against Bubbles and Mystic, or Effects, excuse me. Mystic and Effects. Spike planted. Oh, and it's a 2v5 with, with Spike down. Oh, a fantastic Nowhere ultimate coming run. out. Oh, and an ultimate back-to-back -back from Mystic and Blue Light. And Blue Light wins the best of that. Oh, and Bubbles able to sneak out of that 4v4v1 4v for Bubbles. And two people are frozen. He's He's got to be able to pick up these no kills and does not. And that 13th round finally comes around for Tiffin University. Wow, and what a game. Ladies and gentlemen, we had full assumption that Hood College would come in and maybe take this match. Again, ladies and gentlemen, we want to remind you, this is a best of three series, so don't go anywhere as we are just getting started for the evening. But, I mean, Voltage so far, Tiffin University, maybe surprised some people in this division here in Valorant because this is a big, big showing for them so far. Right. Winning 13-6 is definitely a very decisive win, something that I don't think we've seen much on stream. So I'm excited to see this uh, the second round, the second game, excuse me, as uh, and see if anything changes on the side of Hood, because three and zero they're undefeated, and it's it's going to be very exciting. Absolutely, and listen, we are gearing up. We are getting ready for these Valorant playoff matches going to be six teams in that playoff so both these teams in contention to try to make this thing work and like we said before the playoff seedings are going to be determined by a few things like you said you know a head-to-head -head record obviously will be the determining factor of who gets in the playoffs but we're going to have teams that are close because all these teams records are so close to each other you know then followed up we'll have map wins uh, and if, if map wins doesn't solve it, we'll have round wins. And then if that doesn't solve it, we'll have coin flips because we have plenty of plenty of ways to determine who's going to be in the playoffs. But for right now, I mean, you have to think both these teams, Hood with the record that they have and Tiffin playing the way they did today, both these teams have to be in strong contention to make this playoffs here in the NECC. Yeah, both these teams are having a fantastic showing. I think the from what we've seen so far that we you and I have casted, uh, we saw CSU and Sacramento State, CSU DH, excuse me. Yeah. That was a fantastic game to watch. And so far, this is one of the most talentful lobbies that I've seen casting. Yeah. I have we haven't seen all of the games, all of the teams. So I can't say that for everybody, but from what we have seen, I think this is the these 10 players are fantastic players and have been working well together on both sides of the map as we are heading into map two, which will be Haven uh, very shortly here. Absolutely. And ladies and gentlemen, we want to remind you, not only do we have Valorant action, but we have 
college esports action five days a week here live at the NECC for you on Monday nights. We have Madden on Tuesday nights. We have this Valorant night that we have. And then, of course, tomorrow night, you can see us back right here on our Twitch channel uh, and our other platforms for Overwatch Wednesdays. And then Thursday nights, we have League of Legends. And then, of course, Friday Night Live, Rocket League comes to the NECC. Uh, it's a great time right now. Just a few weeks left uh, in this inaugural season here at the NECC. And Voltage, what do you think? What do you think about the NECC season so far? I mean, I think. Things are headed in the right direction. So far with, if if I'm right, we're on week five for most games, and this is week four for Valorant. But so far, they're just past that halfway point. These teams are, are they can really smell playoffs in the air, and they're really getting hungry for it. And the t- competition is just heating up at this point. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, like you said, we are getting ready to go into this next map. What can you tell us, Voltage, about this second map and and what we're going to see as opposed to what we saw in that first game? Right. So Haven is going to be a map with three different bomb sites, and that's the biggest change. Haven, that's that's the only map that they've released so far with three bomb sites. So we're going to have A, B, and C, and that's what they're going to be referred to as. A is a, you've got two ways to get on it. It's called A, uh, a Long and A Short are also known as Sewers. I will be calling it both randomly throughout. Sure. Uh, B, you're going through that sniper's mess nest at mid that the attacking side does have, but then they're, they're also having to get onto that site. And the main way is just through that B hallway. So it's, it's, it's easier to defend. It also has garage connected to that mid area, which leads into that C and C long is, is the only way to get onto C except for through garage. So there's five different places that I just named to get to a bomb site and there's five players. Absolutely. So if they decide to put all five players in a one spot, that defending team, unless they for some somehow like read that and know that it's coming, they're going to have to move quickly and it's a very communication-driven map, especially on the defensive side of things. On offense, you have a lot of time to, not time, you'll have a lot of options to rotate to. Maybe you push over to A, you get one down, you lose two, but you hear footsteps moving on to support their team over at A. You can head all the way across the map and go to C, and that rotation's a little bit longer, not by much, but it's definitely a little bit longer. Or you can go to B, get there quickly, but they're right next to it over at A, so it's a uh, strategic map. Absolutely. And, and you would have to think, after seeing this first game uh, of this best of three series, what are you <coughs> looking for here from these two teams in this second game, specifically with Tiffin and Hood? Right, so I'm looking for Hood to find a way to shut down Cracked early into the round, and I'm finding looking for Tiffin to early shut down effects because those are the two players that had the biggest impact. And at that point, yes, the other four could clean it up and, and they, they have that ability, but more and more consistently, those two players were the ones that made each side have that, a, uh, that advantage in each round. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, we are getting very close, ladies and gentlemen. We have hit the R's in the chat. We are starting the game. We are getting very, very close to gameplay. Uh, We want to remind you one more time that you can follow us online on social media at NECC Games. That's NECC Games on Twitter and Instagram and all that with game updates, giveaways, all kinds of fun things that you can check out with us. As we get ready to go into it, this next round is brought to you by HyperX, the best gear in gaming. Come to the NECC. It's going to be a fantastic round. Game two in this best of three between Tiffin University and Hood College. Voltage plays on the call. Let's go. All right, we are getting into it with three seconds left till this round starts. Tiffin is being very interesting here, putting two players short A, two players garage, and one player C. They're leaving B alone right now, but they are pushing right now Hood College on the attacking side of things, pushing that uh, that mid area. Garage has two players, but the rotation from Cracked, and who is playing Brimstone? That's going to be Epic Evan. 
The rotation from A short all the way around. They're looking to go behind. Arrow's watching B now. Long looking down. like a B play here. As very little damage has come out from anybody but that turret so far. Nobody wants to uh, push too hard. Effects putting uh, the smokes down on the site. But Epic Evan is putting his own smokes on the site, trying to stop the push there. And a, uh, a quick rotate here, with still with 48 seconds left, over to A. Blue Light has gone down, the only player to go down so far in this map so far. Change that up. Epic Evan takes out effects and then goes down at the hands of Arrow. And it's going to be a collision here on A as Cracked and the Tip left. University team all push, all move up onto A site. They pick up one, Ugh. make that. No, Ben Lee picks him up. He had a reload, but Mr. Reliable picking up one of his own. And it's all up to Bubbles from Hood. Puts out the Swarm Grenade, but has to play very defensively as they're looking around for him. Bomb is is going or spike is going to be diffused. They are going to have to peek from short. Is able to is able to pick up both of them, getting three kills so far in this first round. And what a what a clutch performance there from Bubbles. And we saw it last game. Very clutch performance. And I I, I want Bubbles and Mr. Reliable at the very end to be there at the end of round so far. And and again, how about for Hood College? Exactly what we talked about. That is a great, fantastic start. Ladies and gentlemen, Hood will be in the red until we make the switch. So Hood is in the red. Tiffin is in the blue. We do have some Tiffin fans in the chat tonight. So I want to give some big shout out to them. Boy. All the Tiffin University fans in the chat. And uh, let's see as we're getting ready for the second round of game two. Absolutely. Both teams playing very well so far. Quick rotate from Hood. Uh, really gave them a slight advantage, but quick kills coming in from Tiffin. Uh, on, I'm talking about last round, sorry. Um, we're able to bring it back, and then at the end, Bubbles just clutched up with uh, some great shooting. Ben Lee watching Long as it's all up to Arrow and Long, who's picked up two. Sorry, picked up one. Let's see if she can pick up the second one as Reyna. When I say she, I mean the character Spike that they're playing. playing. Spike does go down. And she's, they are out in the middle of the open as Effects picks that one up, cleans it up. And so far, Arrow and Bubbles are the, uh, and Effects are the kill leaders in this lobby, all with three so far, and it's going into the third round. Absolutely. And wow. And for right now, for Hood, uh, I'm a little bit speechless because I don't think they could have asked for a better start whatsoever. Now, on the attacking side of things, picking up the first round and then decisively winning that second one, it's it's been fantastic yeah, no. here. And I just want to say, when the NECC does get merch, I want a shirt that says, absolutely, NECC. Because I think that's that should be your catchphrase. Oh, yeah. Crack picks up effects. Let's see if they can pick Cracked yeah. up, and they do. Epic Evan is watching long, but no longer as Mystic Shadows takes him out. 3v4, Ben Lee moving up with the rest of Hood College using the ultimate, but Blue Light shuts it down. Arrow picks up two of their own, and it's Mr. Reliable and Arrow going up against Mystic Shadows, going to have to peek through the smoke at some point. They do pick up the spike. The smoke goes away from cover, but they have one minute on the clock, and that was just the most action-packed 15 seconds I think I've seen so far in a Valorant game that I've watched. Oh, if this works for him, I think what's going through his mind is, let's make them think I'm rotating. They know the spike's no longer there. They were watching it, but he was able to peek out of the smoke and go back. And now they're waiting between kind of that CMB area. Oh, is he going to rotate or is he going to go short? He's going to go short left. Into, the B, or into the A sewers, excuse me. Oh, that's impressive. 20, yeah, this is fantastic. Uh, a uh, a fake rotate and the the tripwire goes out but cypher's not alive to hear that his tripwire is taken down planted so uh, the ceiling area here they go <laughs> is going to be able to be put down and right now mystic shadows in a very interesting situation hiding right on top of the bomb or the spike excuse me i need to stop saying that mr reliable and arrow both moving through the CT side of A, neither of them deciding to go heaven as they are checking their angles. 
Almost religiously, one might say. Does he hear him behind him? Oh, they saw him. Is he able to pick up? Oh, Mr. Reliable. Once again, reliably kills up. Cleans up the last kill of the round. Ooh, one to two. Tiffin, Tiffin a, able to pick up their first round of this game. And for Tiffin, again, we had someone in the chat say the Tiffin University Dragons, who doesn't love a good dragon? Well, I'll tell you what, Mr. Reliable is on top right now because I have never seen, as far as since us here at the NECC, I don't think we've seen a more clutch performer in these late game or late rounds that, that we've seen here. Right, late into the round. Like I, th I think I said it at the beginning of this game. You want Mr. Reliable or you want Bubbles, depending on what side you are going for. Those have been the players that have cleaned up the kills at the end when it really and truly matters. Oh, uh, I, I, I heard a uh, a marshal coming out from I believe that would be Blue Light. And yes, yeah. over at Long C, looking with the uh, with the marshal. Picking up two hits, making that a kill on the bubbles. And they're very spread out once again. But they're rotating out. Bubbles is down. One to two with one minute left in this fourth round. Hood looking to keep the momentum that they started with and try to take away any momentum that Tiffin might be going to try to get a cracked an arrow, pick up two kills of their own oh, mystic, taking out crack effects, picking up blue light, and it's going to be a 1v1 effects versus arrow. Playing that B, that B mid courtyard area. Arrow staying back, does have the ult. 30 seconds left. Moving from courtyard entrance to the sniper entrance to the courtyard. Oh, but Effects gets the spike and sneaks out of there quickly. I did not hear any audio cues that would uh, would say that he got spike in and planted. got out, but now the spike is down and Effects is looking to once again try to get a round win for Hood while on the other side, right now the kill leader for Tiffin in this lobby, Arrow, looking to pick up another round for Tiffin. Spike is down. They're going to tap it to try to draw out. And he, and he was drawn out. And effects gets taken out. Arrow with the third round. Or third kill of that round. In the eighth of this game. And Voltage, we've done a, a couple Valorant matches together. I don't think there's been any match between two teams that we've had that have come down to this many 1v1 situations at the end. Yeah, and I think that's really truly saying how how even these teams really are. Um, it, it may not look like it in the end. Uh, last game, Tiffin and Mr. Reliable were able to clean up a lot of those 2v2, 1v2, 1v1 situations. Um, Must keep them but out. at this point, this like nice it's been a very even match, even though some uh, the scoreline doesn't no show it. Ultimate comes right out of the jump. Oh, and Arrow right in the middle of that, able to move here as effects and the rest of Hood. Minus Ben, who goes down at the hands of Cracked, who is watching A. Moved up very far into A to get that kill. Knows nobody else was going to A when he was looking. Is able to move back. As they are, Hood College is looking to push this B site, or even rotate around to C as a lot of players in garage, but a lot of players for Tiffin over in garage ready to defend. And that was great information there from effects. Little smudge trying to take this garage area cleanly. Effects goes down at the hands of Mr. Reliable. Sova picks up Sova as Blue Light kills Mystic. Effects picks up Epic Evans. Arrow with effects on a kill. It's just trade after trade. 2v2 situation left. Little smudge rotating behind. Last player for a hood 30 here. Seconds left. Trying to clean up the final two kills. Do they know they're here? And Arrow was ready for Little Smudge to walk around the corner with the Phantom cleaning up the kill. Whew. Exciting well, matches here. 
And what, what a turnaround. Again, Hood came out and won two straight games. And now, uh, you know, a 3-2 advantage for Tiffin here. What a, As you look at the at the credits and you look at the leaderboard, what, what are you seeing right now as far as buys go? I mean, at this point, the fifth round into the match, both teams have been able to full, full buy. Uh, when I'm saying full buy, I'm saying... Get the gun you want minus an op because that's 5,000 and the guns that most people want are around three. Uh, really full idiot. armor and all the uh, utility that you would want. And so both teams have been able to get a full buy, but right now Tiffin is the only one with a full buy. Specters and Stingers and half armor coming out for Hood College. So that's <laughs> going to be a uh, less firepower and less defense. So it's, it's going to be very difficult. Smokes galore. Covering sewers as uh, Ben Lee pe peeking out, trying to get a nade. Run. Oh, and a fantastic Killjoy ultimate comes out. No way. And it's Hooray. it's all the way in in sewers. And I'm trying to see exactly where that is. Yeah, Bubbles puts it down perfectly. So they've got to move out. Oh, and they did not use that opportunity to move in. So an ultimate basically wasted as cracked hides in a smoke feelings. arrow and cracked just picking up the team here arrow with a second kill of the round and little smudge picking up mr reliable but little smudge get taken up from arrow arrow is saying you know what i cracked isn't the only player that that can uh, be the kill leader in, in a lobby watch me watch me do this and unbelievable how about that was a complete team i mean that was a team win for tiffin right there especially how about that play I'm, I'm, i forget which player it was i'm you're gonna have to remind me i apologize but to to back up in the corner let his team take the pressure hide behind the smoke pop out take that bait massive big pick before they get the last pick i mean it's an impressive play right so crack was the one who was hiding right next to that smoke was able to communicate to his team all that information. Oh, and Little Smudge moving quickly through Garage. A recon bolt comes out, picks him up, but I don't know who else it got. Little Smudge picking up one that would be blue light going down and extending his ultimate. Little Smudge trying to move through Garage, but they are watching both instances crack watching B. They're not over rotating, which I like this because you saw on, on last game how quickly this team rotated as, as Ben Lee, the last player alive for Hood going up against three. Arrow, the player with 14 kills this game. Cracked the kill leader of last round who really showed his dominance and Mr. Reliable, the clutch master. These are the three that you don't want to be going up against and they easily cleaned it up there, making it five to two in center of the in favor of the defenders, Tiffin University. And right now, I mean, if you're looking at it, let's go ahead and do something before we get to the next match. Let's pull up that leaderboard and let's look at it. And let's go ahead and look at the KDs. And again, like you said, Arrow uh, on top, on top right now for for. Uh, for yeah. Tiffin, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Tiff Tiffin University being led by Arrow. Yeah. And I do talk a lot about KDs because everybody wants to see the big frags. But at the same time, it's not all about, you that know, these there. kills that come out. It's very oh, important to get kills. But it's I, it's, I put a little bit too they much of an this. emphasis. We, we really want to see the players work that together as a team. If... All, if four players are getting information and then that one player is able to go out and get those kills, then, you know, it's a team working together. At the end, we're looking for the teams to work together. Oh, fantastic ultimate as he saw a lot of people moving up and uh, and they were able to not get a kill, but really control this angle. And it's all up to Ben Lee as Crack cleans that up in the uh, sniper's nest mid window area. And, and, off quickly. I mean, it, that was such a, I was about to say the same thing, how quick of a round that was. And right now, all the momentum swinging the Tiffin's way. Yeah, I mean, def we've talked, I, I've, I've talked on length about how defenders have an easier time. But when you go into, at this point, the best hood college can go 
into the next half would be a 6-6. And that's unlikely to happen, losing the last six rounds in a row. You know, so you're looking going into it 4-9, sorry, 3-9, 4-8. At best, in my in my brain, at least, uh, nobody committing too hard, but they are in the courtyard area. Effects takes out Mr. Reliable. Effects watching the angles very well here, as uh, as you you can see that he's got the angle set up, and through the smoke he's getting a lot of good shots. Crack peeks out and Effects punishes, but Epic Evan punishes right back as Arrow and Epic Evan picks up two kills of their own. Leaving it 2v2, Arrow and Epic Evan going up against Mystic Shadow and Little Smudge. If you had to call it right now, Volt, who wins this 2v2? I mean, right now with how Arrow is on fire, it's going to be Tiffin. If they are able to shut down as a team Arrow, then I think that they've got a fighting chance. But at this point, Round Spike is not down. They Round peek around, Arrow ending. picks up one. That would be Epic Evan, seconds left. but Mystic Shadow has to face a fully healed Arrow. And do you see how confident Arrow is? Peeking out. Says, you know what? I'm not gonna wait for you. I'm gonna go straight to you and shoot you in the face because I know I can beat you. Just the <laughs> confidence. A, there is a reason that this kid Arrow is on the top of the leaderboard and the dragons from Tiffin University are just rolling right now, headed to to looking to sweep this match. Yeah, I mean, at this point, we, we talked about um, we, we effects being, you know, I think you were talking about effects being the Dragon Slayer or Bubbles. Uh, right now, it's, it's really just a uh, an arrow in the Dragon show here. It is a either a hardcore metal rock concert or a, uh, a PBS channel or show that I watched as a kid. The dragons are destroying right now. It's two to seven. It's very difficult to come back from only having two round wins. They're rotating quickly over towards this A site, moving quickly as Cracked is going to be the one that is defending from heaven. You should run. They've got the information. Oh, and what was Through the wall. that? Oh. I was looking at the mini map, but how did he get that info? I, I wasn't paying attention enough, but oh, <laughs> picking up two kills. Uh, to be honest with you, I was looking at the mini map and how the rotation was coming out. Epic Evan up in heaven now to take the place of practice. He did go down 3v3 situation here as both teams that moving on to the site, and it's all up to Ben Lee. Ben Lee with two satchels to work with. Picks up one, picks up two. Doesn't have the shot on Arrow, who is once again the most confident person in the room. At that point, you, you see somebody pick up two kills and go and, you know, you in my mind, as, as my bronze two, like, peasant little <laughs> self is, I'm saying, you know what, back up. This guy knows how to shoot. But Arrow's over here saying, you know what? I'm 22 and three. Let's see if I can make that 24, three and three. You know, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with you. And our producer Caleb Glooby will judge me, but I've never went 22 and three in anything. I mean, I, I haven't done that since I was 16 playing COD four in my bedroom, yeah. like on the CRTV back when flat screens first, were too first expensive. All, first of all, it, I'm older than all of you, and I was terrible at gold time 64. I'm just telling you. Okay, <laughs> Golden Eye is a classic, and you can't you can't be terrible no, at it because it was four people in your buddy's room playing together, or your yeah, room man. if you had a Nintendo sixty four. You cannot be bad at that game. That was a fun game to play. Oh, let's go. Let's talk about oh, that Arrow one. moving <laughs> behind, knowing Bubbles was there, picking up the angle, and it's a two v five. Tiffin looking to get the ninth round of the of this map. Mystic, who is blinded and in a molly, gets cleaned up. Then Crack picks up Little Smudge at the very end. But right now it's an arrow show. I can't Last I can't talk about it enough. Hatch. But that teamwork there with putting the blind down, putting the molly down. That wasn't just arrow or cracked. That was not either of them. That was, a, uh, sorry, Mr. Reliable and Epic Evan 
working together to be able to clean up a kill, and it just happened to be the last person to put a bullet on it was Arrow, I believe. So fantastic teamwork coming out from the Tiffin University here. side of things. And we're lo really looking for uh, a clutch performance to come out from Hood where they they were showing it at the end of last round or last map, I should say. I want to see it a little bit earlier spike. this time before the 12th round comes around. So let's see if they can start taking rounds back full bias from both sides of things here. Effects looking behind as Arrow picks up one, trying to shoot through the wall, but nobody's there, man. It backs up. Oh, Mr. Reliable picking up a little smudge perfectly. Blue lane taking out so many people. I can't name them all. Crack effects here. It was just trade Switching after sides. trade. Wow. And you know what? Voltage, I know we're going to switch here, and are we switching colors as well? Let's just make sure we know. No switching. Yes, we On my tab, it does not switch. Or does right. it? I can't ever tell. It does. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, we will have the red squad still tipping. You can see that leader, that lead score, ten to two. And, and voltage. Honestly, I, I'm blown away because we saw Hood, who came into this match three and zero, oh, come into the second round, win two games in a row, and then for Tiffin, they have uh, they have been a buzzsaw and won ten games in a row. Whoa, yeah, ten rounds in a row was ridiculous. It affects and Ben Lee ready to shut down that push there from Tiffin. Really, Hood College looking to to uh, take back some uh, some confidence. I almost want to say cracked, getting taken down by a little smudge, and it's going to be a two v four situation. And they are pushing the two players who went to A, Epic Evan and Mr. Reliable, putting Spike down on the A site after the smokes went down. But that information comes down out from. Who is that? That would be Mystic Shadows picking it up. Little Smudge picking up Mr. Reliable. And Mystic Shadows cleaning it up. Final kill of the round going to Mystic Shadows. Fanta I mean, fantastic. Well, and yeah, with, I mean, with the switch there, now the momentum's changed, but it looked like a bit of a strategy change there, and, and it looked like it paid off. Uh, yeah, so you could you could say momentum's changed, but Hood won the first two uh, two rounds, the pistol round and the round following it, where they have the advantage in utility and uh, and weapons. But at the same time, it's really when both teams have full buys that I want to see Hood picking up those rounds. So I I kind of expect these because uh, if I remember correctly, in that first map, they're they're winning these first couple rounds too. They've, they've really got these uh, the pistol rounds on point from what I've seen, but nobody guards C in the all of Tiffin. Instead of playing for picks like they did last game, they all were like, you know what, we're going C, we're running up, we're taking control, and now it's back to them on defense. And the uh, and the Hood College players having to retake, and right now it's up to Mystic Shadow. Last player alive against five. Roaring hot, confident Tiffin College or Tiffin University, excuse me, oh. players. And uh, Mr. Shadow gets picked up. Are you kidding me with Cracked? He plants the bomb, looks around the corner, one and then one shots with the pistol headshot around the corner. Like I could hear my producer in the background freaking out because this kid plants the bomb. Talk about a, a a gamer tag working because crack is cracked and he planted the bomb did a 360 spin leaned out and if you don't think that that's going to be a Twitter clip you are out of your mind what a shot I mean, fantastic plays coming out from from all players but right now Arrow is cracked being super confident and Bubbles has the information right now Bubbles knows that they're heading over to B for to A excuse me and. And you know what, Hood College responds very quickly. They're already there. And uh, if, he, excuse me, if Mr. Reliable or the one with the spike right now, he can go to B, plan it confidently, and uh, it may, may be an easy win, but right now, spike is down and it's all up to uh, Little Smudge. Low health, and that's going to be 12 rounds for Tiffin. Oh.
My goodness, and ladies match and gentlemen, point. here we are at match point. We want to remind you that this is a best of three series. This is game two. This is the match right here. Do you think, let's let's call it right now. Does Tiffin pull it off right here and win this game in this no. match series? No, Hood, Hood last match had their, their the clutches two rounds that I think I've seen of a team really just having the hardest time but they looked at each other and they said you know what guys let's play together we got this and i think that that's what's going to happen here <clears throat> they they have information that they're going garage and long and a rotate comes in from everybody but soba and that's going to be mystic reina or little smudge went down bubbles Picking up Miss Reliable as Arrow takes out Ben. And it's going to be a 2v2 and an Aries battle shows up and it's all up to Mystic who's moving through B, not walking. They know he's here and he's just got to watch his angles and that's going to be the 13th Attackers round of the game. The match point goes game, in favor of Tiffin. Game, set, match, Tiffin University Big shout out to Tiffin University Esports have been in the chat all night tonight. A bunch of respect to them. They've had multiple fans in the chat. And Tiffin University came, showed up, and showed out and put on an impressive performance. So, I mean, they dominated this game, Volt, and it was impressive to see how they dominated this match in both games. You, you are with me every Tuesday and Friday night. At Rocket League and Valorant, you know I love to dance around a team dominating another team, but there today there's no dancing around it. It was a dominant performance. I mean, this game alone, average combat score, Arrow has 488. The next player cracked, who we were amazed at last game, has 274. That is almost double. That is over a third. More... So combat score it's just the damage and the kills that they were putting out is really what that adds up to if you don't know and that is impressive mm. to say so the if, least so if i had to give you the choice for mvp in this in this match is it arrow is it cracked or is it somebody like mr reliable that that tied up so many games he might not have had a massive score like that 488 score by arrow but it always seemed when the opportunity came up and a clutch was needed it felt like mr reliable was reliable in there and in my mind that's who i want to go for but in the end arrow yeah just showed up this match when everybody else also did i mean that first match it was a, a cracked was there and nobody else showed up everybody else their numbers are better than last game's on average for like the spread, but arrows is just boom, soaring, double the second place. And just that, that stands out for me. Arrow is going to be the MVP of this game for me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. As Tiffin University, the Dragons come in and take down the undefeated Hood College team. And wow in a 2-0, in a sweep, and what an impressive match it was. We want to remind you and say thank you to our partners, the people that make this possible. Thank you to our friends at Helix Esports for all they do behind the scenes. Of course, you might be watching live uh, on ESTV, our linear TV partner. We appreciate you tuning in, and we want to say thank you to them. On Now available on Samsung TV+, Plus, the Roku channel, and Vizio and multiple other platforms, to be honest with you. They bring college esports and all kinds of esports from around the globe on their platform. And of course, our friends at HyperX, some of the best gear at gaming now comes to the NECC. And Voltage, another Tuesday in the books, another match, and we are getting ever so close to these playoffs. And, and it's going to be a fun ride the whole way there. No, oh, absolutely. It's getting it right now. It's it's nothing but fun every week, time after time. I think the talents maybe not getting better, but they're getting more comfortable with the roles that they are playing as a team. And it's just so much fun to watch so far. And I'm I'm excited for next week and everything that the NECC has every single week. When I'm not sitting here casting with you, I am watching on Twitch or I'm watching on ESTV on my Roku. It's awesome, one of the man. two. 
Awesome. We are so happy with everything that is going on. We're very grateful for you being here with us tonight. We, we're Man, we have a great group of casters, and we love all the things that we're doing. Join us tomorrow night, as we will have a couple different people that are going to be joining us for that Overwatch Wednesdays. Starts at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's going to be a fun night of Overwatch action. But for our commissioner, Jacob Van Ryan, uh, we thank him for allowing us to be here. And, of course, our executive producer tonight and the director of esports, uh, Caleb Glooby. We do want to give a big shout out to Caleb Glooby. I have been giving him first-person shooter coaching, and he's getting a lot better at the games. And he's very grateful for my coaching. I mean, and ladies and gentlemen, I, <laughs> I, I got to finish my I, outro, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Until next time, thank you to our partners. Thank you to the people in the chat. Caleb, you're going to get better, I promise. Until next time, my name is Jaron Bell for Voltage Plays and everyone else at the NECC. We will see you next time. College Esports lives here. Stay beautiful. Stay blessed. GG's. And we'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.